So here's a quick and dirty way to color your drawings. First, have your lines. Second, make a new layer underneath your lines. If you don't know how to do this, you're probably lost already. That's okay. Next, choose your magic wand tool. Have your settings set to allow area scaling and refer other layers. Click on the outside of your characters. You now have a selection that encompasses all of the areas outside of the characters. Make sure you get everything that is not supposed to be the character. If you need to, use your lasso marquee to add more selections. What I'm doing there, by the way, is I'm just holding shift and clicking. You can, you can add selection by just holding shift. Once you're done and you're satisfied, click this little button here or up here. This is to invert your selection. You now have everything that is inside the character selected. Next, pick a color. Perfect. You can fill your character by clicking on either this button or this button up here. This fills your entire character, or in this case, your selection. Now you can deselect it, which I already did, and you can go up here and click Lock Transparent Pixels. What this does is it locks the content of the layer you have selected so that you can draw inside of it without affecting any of the areas that are not filled with that color or whatever content is on that layer. That's a terrible color to use. Much better. It also allows you to decide, hey, I don't want this as my base color. I want this instead. And you can simply click the fill tool and that'll fill the whole thing. Good job. Now, in order to make this more interesting, you want a little more than one color. So, go to your paint bucket tool. Make sure you have your same settings. Allow area scaling, usually set to five. You want to refer other layers and you want to choose your color. Let's say I want areas that are blue in this. Then you can simply go in here and click in the areas where you want to fill in color. It helps a lot if your line art is clean when you do this. In order to make this process go even faster, you can also chain fill areas such as this by simply clicking and dragging through them. This also has another added benefit, whereas if you have a multitude of different colors, you can very quickly and easily decide, hey, I want to change one of these colors to a different one. Select your new color, and when you click and drag, no matter how you try to attack the other colors on this layer, it will only affect the colors that you have started on. Unfortunately, the tool doesn't do very well in tight spaces. However, having all of your lines filled in properly before you start doing any of the detail work is a very big time saver.
And just like that, I've finished filling in most of the character. 